with Nigeria transmitting about 4,000 megawatts of electricity to its over 200 million population. Many believe that this continues to put the country in a dire situation as millions do not have access to electricity. According to Nigeria's Rural Electricity Agency, many citizens continue to face hardship as electricity for them and those in rural communities continue to be luxury. The country has the largest number of unelectrified Nigerians. And the federal government, in its own quest to address this challenge, signed the, the electrification, Electricity Act of 2023. The Electrification Act changed the entire dynamics of electricity sector in the country by liberalizing the entire value chain and giving opportunity to states to participate in this, in the entire value chain of the electricity in the country. In a bid to address this problem, the agency has signed a memorandum of understanding with about four key government agencies to help improve their operations and boost their service delivery to citizens. This partnership is not going to be just signing of a document and going, no. What we are doing here is signing a, a roadmap on which the Rural Electrification Agency and this government agencies are going to partner together to help in addressing key um, uh, electricity challenge in the country. Representatives of some of the partners from the Nigeria Immigration Service, the Nigeria Police Trust Fund, the National Training Institute of Nigeria, and the National Agricultural Development Fund, say the agreement will improve their operations and boost public service delivery. This project is a very laudable one, and NIS and RE are going to partner together. I think this is the beginning of many good things to come. At the Nigeria Immigration Service, we are deploying technology in manning our borders. When I say technology, I'm referring to the IVS system that we're using at all our borders. I'm talking about the e-gate at our airports. I'm talking about our data center, which is a tier four data center, one of the best in the world. The deployment of solar powered infrastructure across police facilities nationwide will not only reduce our dependence on traditional energy sources, but also provide sustainable and reliable power to our police personnel, enhancing their capacity to serve and protect. Renewable energy has the potential to significantly drive production in terms of quantity and productivity, particularly in regards to the quality of the produce. Renewable energy enables cold storage solutions that reduce post-harvest losses, helping farmers preserve their produce longer, increasing their incomes and accessing broader markets. The agency also signed MOUs with 19 utility service providers along the electricity supply and distribution value chain to help East Quest to provide cleaner electricity to Nigerians. In Abuja for New Central, I am. Amadine Uyi.